as promised, here's the video in which we discuss the white culture of Lisa Turtle, played by Lark Voorhees on the classic sitcom Saved by the Bell. So, I've made it very clear that with A.C. Slater, who was Hispanic, Mexican-American on the show, they tend to just never bring that up. He was culturally white. Zach Morris, who in real life, played by Mark Paul Gosler, who is actually biracial, his mother is Indonesian, that was never brought up or mentioned and said they cast his parents as both being white, European descent. Let's talk about Lisa Turtle, though. Obviously, a, a black American. And of course, if you're big into Saved by the Bell trivia, like I am, you know that when the part for Lisa Turtle was written, it was written for a Jewish girl. The concept of Jewish American princess, a rich Jewish girl. That's, that's who the, that character was supposed to be. However, the actress, Lark Voorhees, auditioned for the part, and despite not being Jewish, won them over. She was the obvious choice. So, she auditioned for a rich Jewish American girl and got the part despite not being one, despite being black. And I think in some ways, this kind of maybe piggybacked off of The Cosby Show, a show that was very successful, featuring a black American family that was well-educated and made a lot of money. Lisa Turtle, part of her character was known for her dad being really rich and therefore she had access to a lot of money and her dad's credit cards, that was part of her character. I can't think of a time, despite seeing every episode at least five times, I'm struggling right now to think of a time when it was ever brought up that Lisa Turtle was black. I just, I struggle to think of, of one time it was ever mentioned, ever brought up. Which goes back to what I'm saying, Lisa Turtle, culturally white. There was nothing about her character that reminded us that she shares the black struggle that I'm learning more about that helps to a lot of black Americans define what makes someone black. Because I just finished the documentary on Netflix, The Rachel Divide, and Rachel Dolezal, who's not of African descent, who was assuming the culture of someone who was black, people who were black Americans were saying that Rachel has not had the black struggle that someone of African descent in America has, you know? And so it's interesting because when I asked that question about Lisa Turtle, the character as presented on the show, did we see black struggle there at all? I can't think of a time. Therefore, I propose to you that Lisa Turtle on the show, as she was portrayed, was culturally white in the same way that A.C. Slater was culturally white, in the same way that Zach Morris was culturally white, even though he, in real life, is biracial. So I think that's very interesting to look at that and to look at, to consider, I'm confident if Saved by the Bell was made now, it would definitely be brought up that Zach Morris, the, the, or at least the actor who plays him, is biracial. It would show his white dad and his Asian mom. If Lisa Turtle was a character, it would be very uh, much a part of the script, the storyline about her being a black American. And definitely for A.C. Slater, absolutely the fact that he's Hispanic and he probably speaks some Spanish on this show. So. I think the best way that I can help, as an American, help people from other countries understand what I mean when I say culturally white, is just to consider those members of Saved by the Bell, and to consider that it'd be much different in today where we're very quick to celebrate and acknowledge diversity. Back then, to have someone who was black and to be a main character, to have someone who was Hispanic and be a main character on the show, to have an actor who was half Asian, biracial, be on the show, but guess what? They never really seemed to acknowledge any of that. It was as if they were all just interchangeably white, which, and again, for Lisa Turtle, that exactly was the whole point. Had she been what the writers had planned for her to be, she'd be Jewish, 
she'd be white. Still, she'd be considered white. So, I think that's fascinating. What do you think about that? Because I'm, I admit, I'm pretty proud of myself. I feel pretty clever for coming up with this because I have never heard of anyone really talking about this before. How the cast, half the cast, the main, you know, the main six, uh, you know, members of the of the, the, the click, the group on Saved by the Bell, half of them in some way were ethnically diverse. And it just was barely brought up, if at all. In 2018, it'd be a completely different story. They were culturally white. Because back in the late 80s and early 90s, that was about as good as we could do, is have them on the screen. But to acknowledge that background was asking too much then. Now, not that we would exploit that, but we would definitely make everyone aware of that to help everyone feel more included. What are your thoughts on that?